Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Atif and this is the summary of today's lesson. Today we resumed lesson 1, unit 6, English student book, page number 80 and 81. As you know that this whole unit is all about myths and fables. Okay. And uh, the first lesson is also about mythical creatures like Medusa, Cyclops, Abominable Snowman in unicorn so in the last lesson we have discussed the first four exercises on page number 80 in which we matched uh, these words these names with these mythical creatures and then i asked the students like what is so different or so frightening so they discussed it as well so today we resumed our lesson from exercise five in which we have to read, we have to read this exercise, uh, this story about unicorn, and then we have to answer the question. And the question was, how does it help the animals in this story? This lesson is about unicorn, so we read it and then we answer the question. I'm going to display the answer as well on your screen right now. This is the answer for activity five on your screen. The unicorn dipped his horn in the poisoned water. Then the water was good and the thirsty animals could drink. After that, we had a grammar topic, exercise six, conjunctions. We already discussed conjunction in previous lessons, but today we have the second part of the conjunction, topic conjunction. So I'm going to, uh, I included a short tutorial video during the lesson, which I'm going to include it again with a summary purpose so you can understand it better. So I will explain it to you by myself. So first of all, we discussed an example sentence of conjunction. So these are the conjunctions. So this is a sample sentence. A football and a toy train are very nice birthday gifts. So basically, uh, there are multiple purposes of uh, conjunctions, but the main purpose is to join two sentences and to make it short or simple uh, or complex. Okay, but uh, we need we use conjunctions as a joining words. So these are, these can be two different sentences normally, like a football is a very nice birthday gift and a toy train is a very nice birthday gift. But we can, when, when the, in two sentences, when the ideas are same or related, we can join them with the help of conjunction. In this sentence, we use the conjunction and here you can see two different sentences. A football is a nice birthday gift a toy train is a nice birthday gift. So now let us see the conjunctions definition. Conjunctions are joining words. They are joined words or group of words in a sentence. They also join two sentences together. So these are the conjunctions on your screen right now. And, but, or, though, because, although. We have a lot of other conjunctions as well, but these are the most common conjunctions that we use and today we are going to uh, explain I'm going to explain you over these conjunctions like when we use and the conjunction and and is used to join words and sentences that have related ideas same ideas okay for example we have two example sentences like we ate cakes and chocolates at the party so in this in these example sentences we have two related ideas okay same ideas so we joined those sentences and we made them as a one sentence like we ate cakes in the party at the party and we ate chocolates at the party so we are talking about eating at the party so we joined them with the help of conjunction and because these two ideas are related then we use conjunction but uh, to join words or and sentences that have opposite ideas different ideas okay like opposite 
so here you can see the example sentences she ate two cakes but she still was hungry like two opposite ideas we are talking about eating as well uh, so she ate two cakes okay but the opposite thing is that she was still hungry so for opposite ideas we use the conjunction word and the conjunction or uh, the conjunction or is used to join words or sentences uh, in order to show the choice so here when you want to show the choice we can use the conjunctions or so here you can see we have she likes to play in the gallery or in the garden so the choices are between the choices between garden and gallery So we can use the conjunction though and although to show the contrast between the same ideas. So the conjunctions though and although are used to join sentences in order to show the contrast between the same ideas. Like we are talking about the same thing, about the same uh, idea, but in opposite ways in con as a contrast to show the opposite thing. Although he did not like reading, he took the book uh, so he's reading a book but he do although he do not like reading so we use it to show the contrast so we use the conjunction because to show the reason okay they could not play outside because it was raining so uh, these are the conjunctions that we discussed in this tutorial video and after that, I also discussed these conjunctions like for zero conditional sentences, for conditional sentences, we use the conjunction. If when uh, we have two parts of sentences, the first part is the condition and the second part is the result. And also we use when for condition. Okay, this is also uh, reflects one part as a condition and second part as a result. We use and and but, uh, I already discussed and uh, after that, I ask them to uh, you complete these sentences in your in their own words, and I want I ask them to use these conjunctions on the proper, on the suitable place, so the students completed it as well. And then I display the answers. Here are the answers on your screen right now. So that was the today's lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your participation. Take care and goodbye.